How the fuck did you miss him? Oh, did I miss him? How the fuck did you miss him? Who's got ammo? Who's got ammo? Now, we're hearing for something special. For those that lived the days where Machinima was strong, there were a lot of game parodies or just shows based on official IPs. You have RB and the Chief, which I plan to get into later, we had Sunday for Hire, which I don't see myself getting into anytime soon, and then there was slash is Battlefield Friends, done by the now team of Neeps Gaming. I think the magic behind web series is that cancellations or hiatuses are not really that different terms. Since there's no corporate choices and anything can be decided by the people working on the show, it is just as possible to get a new season as it is to just not have any more or something. And while this show didn't have like a super big finale or anything in particular, I'd say that the six seasons we got are some of the best comedy shorts you can get from the Machinima days. There's not much of a plot per se, several characters representing a type of player you can meet in the world of Battlefield, live their experiences and shenanigans that the game and online gaming in general had to offer. Just turn your mic off! Yeah, we wouldn't yell at you you're eating. if you weren't eating. Okay, regular Zavad. Oh, regular Zavad. Uh, yeah, I'm fine like Zavad. Zavad. Okay, Zavad yeah. 311 it is. Oh shit, look at this. Guys, 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 wait, wait, listen, no shotguns, no RPGs, no grenades, Holy no shit. weapons, no fun? What the hell? No, nope, I'm not playing this All right. server. This can come in a variety of forms, like the noob of a team just straight up sucking on everything he does while being an asshole. Guys, I've never done this before. Oh, whoa, 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 okay, whoa, 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 what wait. are you doing, no, dude? First time flying? Flying, yes. Flying, oh. shit. I'm flying! Why? No, why okay. are you, no, no, why are you flying? I'm flying! You're not alone here, you know that. No, I, I can fly really good. The love for having overpowered weapons, Meeting super awesome players or simply elitist. Oh dear. Oh hey man, look, we're gonna move over to Charlie and try to hold it, okay? Yeah. Oh sweet tuna ta ta, what is this? What do you mean? These graphics are terrible. I come from the PC world, if oh. you know what I mean. And of course, lagging. Oh, oh shit! Oh, get out of here! Go, go, go! go. <laughs> I just want to run that way! Fuck you! Fuck you, lag! Yep. Chip, dip, dip, tighter chip, dip, dip, tighter chip, dip, dip, tighter chip! You don't take back, I... And some of you might be thinking, what's so special about this here in 2020? We've always seen this kind of characters. In fact, we're still seeing them to this day. Well, much like most of the good gaming channels with more than one person involved, the fun doesn't come from what they do, but their dynamic while doing it. The animation is pretty much puppet style, you see the elements moving through twins with not that much drawn in between, however it is compensated with a pretty well detailed art style that matches this kind of animation. And when it comes to the writing, despite focusing on the Battlefield franchise, as someone that didn't play those games until after watching the show, I can say that if you're just a player of first person shooters, you will be able to understand and enjoy about 80% of what the show has to offer with the other 20 still being enjoyable, don't get me wrong, but with some Battlefield specific elements that will make you wonder... What's, what do you mean? He wants to know what you mean. What do you mean, what do, you, what do I mean? What class? The characters are definitely the stars of the show. They're not super complex, if anything, they literally represent archetypes of the series. They're literally called Noob, Engineer, Medic, Recon, and Colonel, who is used the right amount, and he is one of the best characters. Prioritize. Prioritize like what, like what? You guys have jobs? Yeah, I mean, yeah. both wrong answers. Lose the jobs. Number two, sex. You guys having some? Or, yeah, I mean. Wrong answer. How much sex do you have? None. Battlefield's my pussy. You got a shit bucket? With Engineer being my favorite, and yes, it is because of his performer. <laughs> You're not a god, we all got them. Well, oh, everyone's has one? But I still love all of the characters, with Noob being kind of the weakest, personally. Don't get me wrong, he's still good, but when he's just stubborn and whiny despite clearly not be good at the job, it gets sold for me really fast. You know, no, when, you, when, when you die, you get teabagged, right? What? Yeah, if the guy that killed you is a fucking asshole. Yeah, he might have been, I don't know, but this guy died. I teabagged him. Guys on our team. Don't even. Yeah. Don't even Guys on our no, team. Don't no, even yeah. start. Don't no, know. So, are we on the same page? No, I'm never on the same page with you. I'm like ten pages Listen. ahead of your dumbass. You can say the same about some of the guys they bring. 
but the Colonel gives time to breathe as well as the OP weapon and Elitist. And when they happen, it happens among other groups of the cast, but the new jokes are obviously just a noob. Well, you can say that Simon counts as the other noob, but again, it's just on the same focus, like it's just those two. So, should we help? No, this is much more fun like this. And for better or worse, there's not much of a continuity, so to speak. Beyond them transitioning from game to game, the only major continuity is the Colonel's relationship with the noob. Have you ever died, sir? I don't think so. Oh, wait. There was this one time back in Battlefield 3. Took out a couple of Nancys, the chopper, jumped in the pilot seat, and boom. Next thing you know, all I could see is this parachute off in the distance. I can hear the screams now. Promoted. Promoted. Like I mentioned in my Rage Cop review, comedy is a very subjective thing to discuss in a critical format, but the major dynamic here is the action-reaction formula they have. Whenever one of the characters does something, the other ones immediately react in an exaggerated form. And since it's a video game, acknowledging there are all people playing games so all the shit that happens doesn't end into a malice situation. And I may have my minor dislikes to Noob's attitude, but like I said, he has been able to make me laugh from time to time with some of the best quotes from the whole show. Where's the explosion? Jeep stuff? Jeep stuff? You stole my Jeep stuff? What the hell is Jeep stuff? You know what Jeep stuff is! I don't! If you I... know I would expect this from Medic? But from you? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Explain what Jeep stuff is so I fucking know what it is! Jeep stuff, it's right there on your belt! You mean C4? And even if I don't have much to say about Medic and Recon, they are perfect to balance the rest of the cast, and not only they can be as wild as the rest of them, you know, like any time you will play video games or just any games with friends. Nothing, you, you okay? I'm fine, yeah, I'm great. Cause you got that... Uh is that? Yeah, it's a real gun. Holy. <laughs> have you tried this thing? No, but you're the last person who should have that. No, 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 this is fun. It's a good time. It's a good time. Yeah, stop looking at it. Chopper! Oh, shit. Let's get him! Boop, 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 bang! Woo -hoo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! 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 Guys! 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 <laughs> Calm down! There also needed to be the closest to a down to earth character in this world of jackasses. No, no, Dude, yeah. don't be ashamed of that, okay? If anyone's hating on you, just ignore them. Dude, they're just jealous, man. Embrace it. You know what I mean? They're jealous. Really? You think it's just jealous? Oh, no. <laughs> Fuck no. You're a fucking loser, man. Get a life. Well, I'm sure both Battlefield 1 and 5 could have given them enough content for a new season, especially with whole political aspects on both Battlefield and gaming in general, but I'd say the ride was pretty good and worth every episode. Sadly, a major chunk of the episodes got missing after the disappearance, for better or for worse, of Machinima, and the section dedicated to animation, Happy Hour. In fact, I also miss Happy Hour Saloon, that was also some stupid fun, although, yeah, saying goddamn every three minutes wasn't always fun. Carl the Circus Clown! Oh my god, it's the Joker! Battery attack! God, shut up, Derek. Don't you got any other friends to play Battlefield? Huh? Don't you have any Battlefield friends? Where's all your Battlefield friends at, huh? I want some Battlefield friends too. Where's all your fucking Battlefield friends at? So yeah, a bit of a heads up. I needed to do a bit of a Google search to find the whole series. But you can find it. It's not hard, I can assure you. And you know what? I think the ride was worth it. The Neeps gaming team is simply doing other projects. In some areas, they're just better things than what we had before. But whenever I feel like, I can just pack my cheap stuff, set the bipod on my knife, and enjoy one nostalgic and great hell of a time. Hey, oh.